guys, so today I have got a review and demo of the Raver 3 speed nail dust extractor for you. Now before I show you the actual unit in detail, I want to tell you a bit about why I was so interested in this product. Um, I have had this sent to me um, by Amber Mist, and the reason I contacted them in the first place was because I was suffer suffering terribly with my sinuses. I was in a constant cycle of recovering from sinusitis and then getting it again and I couldn't quite work out what it was. Um, over the summer I've been upping the hours I've been doing nails, doing a lot more nail services and far more acrylics than I used to do. And whilst I'd been wearing a face mask, I didn't really think that that could be what was causing the issues. And now it seems that that's what it was. So the additional hours that I was working, the higher volume of dust that I was creating by filing acrylic so much, particularly with an e-file, was having an impact on my health. And it wasn't something I'd really even considered before then. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit today about health and particularly doing acrylic nails more than anything else. So first of all, face masks. Yes, a face mask like this is going to remove some of the airborne dust that you would normally inhale, but certainly not all of it. And by you wearing it, you're not protecting your client at all either. You may be more protected, but your client certainly isn't. So I wouldn't suggest that these are suitable. Um, they also aren't filtering out any of the vapours, even if you get ones that say they've got carbon filters, you've still got all those gaps around the side of your face. So actually you're going to be susceptible to vapour inhalation. Now some people say, oh just open a window, that'll give more ventilation. Yes it will, but if you can still smell the vapours, the acrylic liquid, the monomer, then you are still actually going to be susceptible um, to inhaling those vapours. And the MSDS sheets that come with products, if you look at them, particularly for acrylic monomer, you'll see that they've got a really long list of um, cautions in regards to this product and things that you have to do. One of the things that all of them say is you must be working in a very well ventilated area and minimise your exposure to acrylic vapours. Now, I'm not meaning to scare you, I don't want to sort of go too much into depth, but if you look further into this, actually, because acrylic hasn't been around for that long, it's really difficult for the people creating these to be able to tell you what the long-term impact of inhaling these vapours could be. Um, it's been suggested by some companies that actually it could be as bad as inhaling or working around asbestos. It, it smells bad as well, so if you're working in a salon environment with lots of you, you're going to want to have adequate ventilation. And similarly, if you've got a home salon or a little studio like I have, you're going to want to make sure that your house doesn't stink of acrylic liquid all the time. I was wearing a face mask and I was using a desktop fan like this, which I felt was probably collecting most of the dust. How wrong was I? All this was doing was catching the dust that fell pretty much directly into it. And actually, the amount of airborne dust that there was was horrific. My room was always constantly dusty. Uh, I was constantly having to clean. And I was inhaling a lot of dust. Same goes for the ones that are actually built into the tables. Yes, they're collecting the dust that falls down. They're not collecting airborne dust. Enough of my jabbering. Let's now actually look at the product. So this is the Rava 3 Speed Nail Dust Extractor. It's got a big head with a filter in it, it's a carbon filter, it's multi-layered. It's got a great big long neck with an adjustable length on it, you can see the little bolt there that adjusts. And it's got a really good solid heavy base so it's not going to fall over at all. Um, on the base it has two controls, it's got one for fan and one for a light. And there's a little LED light inside the lid as well. Now if you are thinking of getting one of these, please be aware that the paint on the base is not acetone resistant. This is a mistake that I made and you can see there where it has actually bubbled when I've accidentally splashed acetone onto it. And there's the LED light inside the fan head. So in this video you can see it's touch uh, sensitive which is really good. That's the light and the fan as well. One goes the first speed. Two goes the next speed up. And three goes the next speed up. And you can probably hear the first one wasn't really that loud at all. It was quite quiet. The second one was much louder. 
Um, and the third one is like what I'd like to call jet engine speed, but it's really efficient. So in this demo, what I'm going to do is use my e-file and um, an old acrylic sample that I did and really just show you exactly what is going into the fan when it's on the highest speed. So the actual filter itself, the top um, comes in half and that's the filter. It's got carbon filter in it as I say and you can see all the dust it's collected in there, it really is quite amazing. These last for up to 500 hours of use, I believe replacement filters are around £20 so they're not too dear, they're really good value for money for the number of hours you get. And this is the top here, this is the actual fan part and you can see all of the dust that sort of has been captured and caught around it. I hope this has been really useful for you today guys, um, please do check out my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter accounts, don't forget to subscribe and as always all of the products you have seen featured here today are in the description box. Thanks very much!